Welcome to Thinking Particles New Features. In this video, we will discuss a new utility that we have created for Thinking Particles 6. This new utility allows you to create automatically joints between objects. But before we go into detail, let's just check out the scene we have here. So we create objects here with an object to particle. We bring in several spheres and also more spheres. The second dynamic set is our gravity, the force pulling down, and the last dynamic set is the physics simulation. And if we would play back this scene as it is, you see the spheres are falling down. So pretty simple, easy setup. So what we want to achieve now is we want to create joints between these spheres so that they don't fall down and hold each other. So how would we usually get joints between all these objects? That would be a really complicated work. However, with our new utility, it's all simple button click. So let's choose this TP uh, contact point tool. And as you can see, it's pretty simple and it can create automatically thousands of joints between objects. Let's hide thinking particles and bring back the original geometry. These are the original spheres. So if we would play back now, the spheres just stay in place because these are not part of the simulation. That's our original mesh. We would select all the spheres. And the next thing we can do is we can pick the contact point object. And again, this could be any kind of object. However, in that case, we want to have joints, physics joints between all the spheres. So we press the calculate button and it automatically created joints between these objects. And the great thing about this utility is all the joints are properly set up with naming convention and they are joint partners. So the only thing left you need to do is you can hide these joints if you don't want to modify them anymore. And then everything is set up and done for you. However, you could pick any kind of object as I already mentioned. So this can also be used for modeling tasks. Now let's bring back thinking particles a little bit. And we will see that the joints will now kick in and hold the spheres in place. So we just created automatically the joints between the spheres. And everywhere where these objects are in contact, our tool automatically creates these joints. So it's a huge time saver. Imagine you want to pin uh, tiles onto a roof. Let's say 500 tiles need to stick on a roof and break on a certain force. You can do that with this tool. Very easy and efficient. Thank you for watching this video. Check out our other videos as well.